Well, hello everybody. It's a beautiful day today because I got my 1968 back, yeah! So, I'm gonna take a second. We're gonna look over the car. I'll talk a little bit about some of the things that have been done. But the first thing I gotta do is show you these wheels and tires. I'll show them to you. <laughs> They're awesome. All right, here we go. So, got the 60 bait back. Of course, you guys know this car. I'm sure you've seen this view of it a few times already. So, here we go. Check this out. Upside down, but obviously you can see foos. So we got uh, 17 inch wheels now. I mean, look at that wheel well. I mean, look how awesome that looks. So 17 inch wheels now, 17 by 7s on the front and these are 235 45 17 uh, tires coming to the rear I mean, it covers it really well just fills it in so nice so Check that out. Really cool lip on it. Chrome lip. Makes it look kind of recessed in a way. So the rear tires, it's a 17 by 8 uh, rim, and it's a 245. 245 45 17 so pretty fat tire and these are awesome these are a BF Goodrich G-Force Comp 2 AS so really cool tires they got a really cool tread pattern as you can see let's see if I can get a really good view of that I should turn on the light here uh, look at that tread pattern. It's super cool. So, turn this mic back off. So, uh, a lot of suspension work done to it. All the suspension work. You're not going to be able to see anything from here other than what they call a Monte Carlo bar. Um, this is made by a company called, can you see that in there? Global West. So, really cool Monte Carlo bar. You can see it's a little, um, it's not a straight one. It's a, uh, it's got a slight bend to it. And that's for this uh, distributor. The distributor is really tall. Um, so this Monte Carlo bar has got a slight arc to accommodate for that tall um, distributor. It's an HEI distributor, I believe. So that's super cool. Um, I believe this end here, um, let's see if I can really get in there. This is a spherical bearing, which is allows this thing to kind of tilt back and forth and move and all that stuff the spherical bearing end here and then on this end it's just a straight super simple to take off just take this bolt out pull it out of the way uh, there's not really any tension sitting there but that's what keeps the uh, shock towers 
um, you know, these guys here from tilting in. You know, they want to, when you're going to a corner, these shock towers want to tilt in a little bit. So these shock tower brace keeps that from happening. So that's really cool. Bang! Uh, I don't know what else I can really show you. It almost has to be up on the lift. But it's got new coil springs. I'm not, I'm sorry, not coil springs, leaf springs. It's got brand new Hotchkiss leaf springs on it. It's got brand new upper and lower control arms on it. Um, new shocks all the way around. And uh, I can tell you, I just took it for a spin. And uh, man, it rides so much nicer. I mean, it is night and day, it is incredible. Um, so I'm about ready to move on to some next phases. Uh, I came to find out when they were um, trying to put an alignment on this car that uh, uh, on this car there's a power steering control valve. Let's see if I can get this camera anywhere near that. I won't be able to. It's like way down at the bottom there. You won't be able to see it from here. Uh, but uh, took this car to a shop, got the uh, power steering pump, which you can see right there. I got that replaced, and I got the uh, uh, power steering control valve assembly replaced. Well, here to come find out, I think they uh, we ended up with a defective part. So the power steering control valve assembly, I think, is defective. So luckily, I have a warranty on the work and parts and stuff like that. So I'm going to take us back to the shop, and they're going to make that right for me. I hope uh, we'll see how that pans out. But um, so that's what's up with the car. Um, that last shop had it for like almost six weeks or so. So it uh, it had a long time, and I'm so happy to have her back. It's almost like having a new car back again, you know. Um, but she is sweet, sweeter as can be, man. Look at these tires. They look so nice. That tread pattern and stuff. So. Another look at these wheels, man. They actually match the paint way better than I ever thought. So I thought these were going to be more of a dramatic gray. And it's actually like a textured, this uh, surface here. So hopefully they won't get too dirty. I'll be able to keep them clean. But upside down, but you can see that. They look really good. Split spoke design is what they're they're called. Really nice looking tire. Really fits in there nice too. So wheel and tire set up. That's sweet. So I just couldn't resist. I had to make a little quick video of all this, show it off to you a little bit. Um, I'm stoked about it. I think it sits really nice. It rides really nice. Um, couldn't be happier with that shop. They were a pleasure to work with. Those guys in there were super cool. Um, so, uh, loved that shop. Really, really good shop. So, uh, we'll see what happens in the next phase. I'm sure I'll make another video, but I wanted to get everyone caught up real quick on what's going on and what's been done. I'll probably make a more thorough video when I can really get underneath and look at the stuff. Uh, so, but. Thank you everyone for watching these quick little videos I make. Um, this car is really cool to me, so and I really just wanted to kind of show my everybody what's been going on with it. And, and the status and any upgrades have been done to it. So here's the car. She's looking pretty good. Riding really nice. So she's fun to drive around so thanks everyone for watching the adventures of Pete 
following up on these little videos I'm doing. It's a lot of fun for me. I actually have one of my videos. It's about the scooter that I was fixing for my neighbor. It's actually getting a few people watching it, which is surprising me. I never really thought this YouTube stuff would amount to anything other than my friends watching these videos, but I guess I'm putting some stuff out there that some people are finding useful, so uh, thank you everyone for watching these videos. Um, <laughs> I hope after you watch them you're not disappointed <laughs> thinking I thought I was going to learn something here, but uh, thank you for watching them. Uh, I think that's super cool. Spread the good word if uh, you got any friends you think would dig my stuff. So uh, uh, again, it's a lot of fun for me to make these videos and I thank everyone that watches them. Uh, but this was supposed to be just a quick video on getting the car back and really showing the wheels and tire setup. So I can't really show the suspension stuff, but trust me, it's it's an awesome setup now. So cool. Uh, I'll keep you guys posted on some stuff I want to do. Um, I got some plans for what to do next, so I'll keep you posted. Uh, thanks everyone, and uh, I'll talk to everyone soon.